Hi, I'm Ted Bear. I'm the author of Communicating with Your Dog, which is available on Amazon. Thanks for coming to my channel. By the way, I have links to all my videos down in the description section below. Check out my first video. It talks about the benefits of sharing a language with your dog. Occasionally, I hear people say that they're going to send their dog off to get them trained. Although there's some limited success in that, if you want your dog to listen to you, you need to participate more. Behind every obedient dog is an owner that loves his dog and trains his dog. I suggest that you take the 15 rules I'm giving you and establish them in your dog's training and in your household. Now, rule number two, work as a family unit. The ideal way to train your dog is to live alone. The more people you have around you, the harder it will be for you to train your dog. The only exception is if you can get your family operating as a unit or a team. You need to have your whole family participate in your dog's language, its discipline, the rules you've established in the house and the dog's rules. And most importantly, you all need to participate in her praise and encouragement of the things you want her to do. You care enough to be watching this video, so you need to take on the responsibility of teaching your family. Your family needs to know your dog's word commands, the 15 rules that I've gone over with you, the house rules and the training rules that your dog and your family members will follow. An example of a house rule is deciding that you don't want to feed your dog from the table anymore or that you're not going to allow your dog to bark in the house or jump on furniture. An example of a training rule is that you don't call your dog over to you to yell at it. It'll just wreck all future comes. You need to get everyone on the same page. You need to teach yourself first and be very comfortable in the material and then call either a family meeting where you want to go over a lot of things or perhaps use it across multiple dinner conversations. And dribble out the information and discuss each thing. It might be more likely to stick that way. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll benefit everyone, especially your dog. And check out my other videos.